New satellite images have confirmed that the coronavirus lockdown has given Europe cleaner air. Data analysed by the European Public Health Alliance showed cities including Brussels, Paris, Madrid, Milan and Frankfurt have reduced average levels of nitrogen dioxide, a pollutant emitted mainly from motor vehicles and power plants. The satellite pictures took a 20-day average between March 5th to the 25th and compared data with the same period in 2019. In Madrid, average nitrogen dioxide levels decreased by 56% week on week after the government banned on non-essential travel on March 14th, according to the European Environment Agency. If you look at the maps, the most significant changes are the regions which are heavily um, populated and uh, rely on uh, uh, fossil fuel-based transport. So those are the areas usually around the capitals. And then uh, the maps help us to uh, uh, see that uh, if, um, if transport uh, decreases, then so does air pollution. But he warned those living in polluted cities may be more at risk from COVID-19 because exposure to bad air can weaken the immune system. Uh, air pollution causes various chronic diseases like hypertension, um, diabetes, um, uh, lung conditions, and if you suffer those conditions, you are more vulnerable to COVID-19. So you are less able to defend yourself um, against uh, the disease. So that's uh, a very serious risk. China also recorded a drop in nitrogen dioxide pollution in February, when the government imposed lockdown measures to contain the epidemic. Countries that went into lockdown later, such as Britain, which did so on March 23rd, also looked set for a pollution dive in the coming weeks.